What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and tonight we have something to share with you we are very excited about. Very excited. So we've, we've done a lot of product reviews, right? But we haven't done any product reviews that weren't motorcycle Nada. or motorcycle gear related. Nada. And today we're, we're kind of venturing into uh, some product review more beer related. Beer related and ex excited, you know? Very excited. So uh, we have partnered up with New Air. Yep. New Air makes uh, a bunch of appliances, ice makers, humidors, Wine fridges, beer fridges, heaters, cooling, um, heating and cooling stuff. Yep, yeah, he heaters and like space heaters, space air conditioners, and they make beer, beer frosters. Fridge. Yes, beer froster. Beer froster. So it's not even a fridge anymore. No, it's a froster. So it's it's cool. It, it's cool because it's cooler than a beer fridge. <laughs> it's frosty. Literally <laughs> cooler than a beer fridge. <laughs> So yeah, we're very excited. We partnered up with them. They were very nice and sent this out to us. And um, we've had the opportunity to get it set up, get it here in the studio so that it can be in all of our uh, beer review videos and our live streams. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've now had an opportunity to have beers in it and kind of test it out and play with the features. And now we're ready to uh, tell you guys about it. Yeah. So what, what's the first thing that you like about it? Uh, turbo mode turbo mode is pretty impressive. So this has turbo mode So if you come home from the store with you know, not cold beers, yep. you know You brought them off the shelf not out of the, out of the cooler and you know You want to use drink them pretty soon as turbo mode which drops it down to what? 23 20? degrees for an hour Drops it down to 23 degrees. I don't mm -hmm. know if they can see that but yep. drops it down for an hour and gives you the you know maximizes the you know or minimizes the amount of time it takes to get those beers ready to drink yeah which i think is cool really cool and one of the i mean now mind you 23 degrees you just turn the button on to go into turbo mode don't need to turn it off. yeah but that's as loud as it gets yeah there's a little super, hum super just a little quiet, hum you know yeah um i like that they kind of went the extra mile and they, they took what we know as a beer fridge, which is usually what we're all used to in college, like the little cube. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got, have, what, two of them upstairs probably? One or two of them upstairs? Uh, yeah, a couple upstairs. And they've taken it to the next level. Yeah. So not, not only is there a glass front in the fridge. Which just gives it a really classy yeah, kind of really sharp look. Look, yeah, like definitely. It, it, can be, it can be part of a back bar. It could be, we have it as the centerpiece of our studio, obviously. But uh, it, it could be in the living room next to the couch if you have a small apartment. Yeah. And it is just a cool looking piece. Yeah, assuming you're not married. Who cares? <laughs> okay. You, you gotta get a spot. Okay. You gotta get a spot in the house. Okay. Yeah, no, it really does. I mean, the, the, the look of it, the way yeah. they've done it with this glass and stuff, it really just, it can be the centerpiece. Right. It doesn't have to just be shoved off in a corner somewhere. And the thing with this glass, now we've had this on, we've, you've had this on now about two weeks? At least, yeah, about two weeks. Right? Yeah. The glass is heated, it'll never fog up. Yeah, it's really cool. It's When you open this, you can leave it open for a few minutes, the glass doesn't fog, the yeah. glass doesn't frost. None of that happens. Very cool. And that's what I mean about like taking it up a level. Yeah. I think I think that is really, really cool. Absolutely. I love that. <laughs> um, so what else has it got? It's got a feature called party mode. Yeah. So what's party mode do? Party mode. Is when too many people are drinking your beer at the party. It kicks them out. So no, it, um, <laughs> it's when the door is going to be open and closed frequently because, you know, you got people over, you're having a party and they're in and out it drops the temp right so it, that it it also drops the temp down so that it's keeps that temperature at where you want it set right pretty cool that being said the temperature adjustment mm -hmm. from all the way from 72 
to obviously the party mode goes down to 23. 23. You're not going to keep it at 23, no. but the party mode does keep it down to 23. So why do you need a f beer fridge, or why typically would you need, you know, a beer fridge? Well, George, I'll tell you. Tell me, please. Because depending on what kind of beers you like or what kind of beers you, you keep in your fridge, what your style is, yeah. certain beers are better kept at certain temperatures. So some beers are better at the low 34 degrees, mm -hmm. right? And then yep. others are higher up, you know, what, like 50, 55? Yeah. It depends on whether it's stouts and IPAs or if you're drinking. They say basically... Uh, your classic Coors Lights and stuff like that go all the cold, way down, cold right? As possible. cold as possible. But other possible. other more craft beer, you know, mm -hmm. craft beers um, aren't necessarily supposed to be kept at that 34 degrees or whatever. There's higher yeah. temperatures. And there's, you can go and you can look up the, you know, the recommended the temps the for that. For your beer. And there's like a little chart for what yeah. kind of beer it is. But that's basically the reason for that. But it's great. So, I mean, if you're somebody who drinks, well, one, you could drink your beer at whatever temperature you want to drink your beer at. We like right. drinking cold beer. I like cold beer. But if you're somebody who, you know, you have a fridge, you're somebody who likes to drink a lot of IPAs that should be like in the 40s to 50s, right. but it's Oktoberfest, and you're going to bring in a fest beer and some lagers and that type of beer for your Oktoberfest party, you could turn it down mm -hmm. and serve that beer real nice and cold. So it's cool to have that option. 125 cans in this little fridge. Uh, that's a lot of beer. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a fair amount of beer. That's a lot of beer. And now, pretty sure that's going to be 125 12-ounce cans. Yeah. Um, if you're drinking a lot of the craft beers at 16-ounce cans, uh, you're not going to do 125 in this thing. No. At least from what I can tell. It does have... Uh, of removable and adjustable shelving so that you can kind of configure it the way you want mm -hmm. we actually have one more shelf that we didn't even include in here just because of our layout with correct types of beers we have in here so it gives you a lot of flexibility for how you want to set up your fridge and again you know because we drink a lot of craft beer we have the taller cans right and you know some 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 of it seems like we're going back to like the smaller cans but a lot of what we buy is is in the taller cans so right. when we set this fridge up we set it up for that. And the cool thing is it's, it's easily changed. Yeah. So if we end up in a situation where we pretty much have all 16 ounce cans and no 12 ounces, we can change it right now. We have a 16 ounce shelf, we have a 12 ounce shelf, and we actually have some bottles laying down down here. Yeah. So, but again, depending on what your, your beer is, if you're a guy that drinks just one beer, you know, mm -hmm. like you drink any Bud and you buy 12 ounce Bud cans. I mean, you can set this up so every right. shelf is maximized and you're going to load that puppy up and it's, you know, you're going to have plenty of room. And, and you're getting 430 packs, 12. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when you do the math, that's what you're getting, yeah. you know? So that's, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. It is pretty amazing. Okay, so they, they do have a variety of uh, price points on their fridges and different styles. This is a beer froster, but they actually have other just beverage uh, refrigerators, which are more of your normal mini fridge style fridge, you know, as low as I think like maybe $3.99. You know, if you're not someone who's actually drinking alcohol and you just want one of these for, you know, sodas and mm -hmm. water or whatever, you can get one of those. Uh, this being the beer froster is a little more and with all these functions and all these features it's actually priced i think around a thousand ninety nine dollars yeah um which i mean you might think oh that's a lot but um if you really consider what this fridge does and the features that it has um it's really not that bad yeah it's, it's a pretty fair price i think i mean it's one thing to have something that there's there's nothing i need that it doesn't do yeah but it does more than i ever thought <laughs> yeah, I you know, mean, a beverage fridge would do. So right. I think that's an awesome part of it. I think the scary part is it could spoil you. It, it could. I don't know that I can go back to a regular little <laughs> fridge effort, right? I mean, too cool. So, yeah, so there's going to be a link down below. It'll take you to New Era. You can see everything, you know, that they have to offer, not just uh, fridges, right? No, like we said yeah. earlier, they got humidors, they've got uh, heating and, and cooling stuff, they've they've got ice makers, they've they've got quite a bit of stuff on their website. So definitely go to yeah. newair.com and check that out. There will be an affiliate link down below, mm -hmm. and if you use code baggers underscore and a and d underscore brews, you'll get ten percent right. off at the Newair website. That's right. Which uh, you know what is is pretty good. Yeah. It's a good chunk when you're considering if you're considering prices something of, like this, yeah. Absolutely. So well, I feel it's only fitting yeah. that we see how cold these puppies are. I don't know they're cold. 
Ooh, ooh. Cheers. Cheers. And man. thank you, New Air. Oh, yeah. That's cool. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Ring the bell. Do all the things. Crack open a beer. And go check out New Air. The link below. See you next time.